Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a messy best friend who's gonna spill the tea all day every day, honey, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are super close to 32K, I think less than 100 away. So if you wanna help me out, I'd be super grateful. You guys, we need to talk about Cara Delevingne because, girl, <laughs> I don't know whether or not she has a twin sister, bitch, but, like, it is completely, this is not a sister, sister, parent trap moment. I don't know what it is, but it, they, she is two different people, okay? So, Cara Delevingne, as you guys know, has been going through a lot lately, mentally and physically. Um, a lot of, there's been a lot of stress online from her friends, a lot of concerns over um, drug and alcohol, um, uh, you know, addiction allegations. And um, lately she has been looking very off. Um, as you guys know, the um, the pictures that we have seen lately of Cara Delevingne, um, you know, doing very erratic things, very erratic, showing very erratic behavior. Um, a lot of people were very concerned that Kara what if she didn't get help she would probably end up you guys know what um there was a lot of talk about her best friend margot robbie um who left this alleged um uh sit down intervention that allegedly they did for kara for her to face her problems and her issues so kara have, has actually been very quiet since the news broke out and since the pictures were everywhere well, listen, bitch, I don't know what to think. I don't know how to act, but she just arrived to Paris and she, this is her now, she looks absolutely stunning, just like, you know, her old self. And it honestly, first of all, my initial thought is it makes me so happy to see her, you know, looking like her old self, right? But as somebody who has seen addiction firsthand, who has affected my family, um, they, I'm not saying this is Kara, but I am speaking from my heart. Um, I believe that people with addictions, some are very good at hiding it and masking it. And makeup and hair and uh, fashion, um, can go a long way. Um, just because you might look a certain way on the outside does not mean that you are completely healed. Now, I wish you know, that, that this whole time that uh, Kara hasn't been seen, she was in, you know, a rehab facility um, for these alleged addicting addiction problems. But it actually worries me even more, if I'm going to be very honest, to see her so put together because it's, it's, so, it's so close to when she was not acting herself. Now, there's been a lot of uh, talk about this, uh, pictures and this Kara in Paris Fashion Week saying that Kara is very good at hiding her addiction, saying that she is a functioning addict, um, saying that, you know, Kara did get help. I mean, there's a lot of different rumors, a lot of different things, but I think that the one thing I want to focus on is, you know, if she, if she got help, right, or she is getting help, I think that we're in a good way. We're in a good path, you know? Kara has been, like I said, very silent ever since the pictures came out and the video came out. Um, I just hope, I really do hope that Kara mm, is actually feeling better and she's actually getting the help she, she so, I believed after watching those video, I believe she so desperately needs. Um, I hope that, you know, I know that this was for Karl Lagerfeld and I know that she has like a, a, a collab with him right now. So I don't know if this was like a like a, a an event that she couldn't get out of or, you know, like, yeah, like something on a, on a contract that she just couldn't get out of um, this. This business, I'll tell you guys, and, and not only this business, but like it affects everyone. I mean, it affected my family. I'm sure, you know, somebody who's 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 been affected by addiction it is something very scary because like I said, addicts are very good at hiding things. Um, I know that my family member who passed from this 
was incredibly, incredibly good at hiding until they weren't. Um, until it just honestly took over, you know, and there is such things as functioning, you know, addicts and I have seen it firsthand and it is very scary. Um, the fact that they can ma put this huge mask on like everything is perfect, that they got everything under control, but they're putting more pressure on it. And in the fashion world and entertainment business world, um, you have so many yes people around you that it, it that makes it even more scarier you know it, may, it, it makes it even more scarier because you're wondering you know is there anyone in her circle uh, aside from her friends that this did that did this um alleged intervention is there anyone in her circle who actually cares for her who wants her to be healthy who wants her to be okay and not just show up to get a check or not just do this photo shoot to get a check to benefit them you know and I think that, you know, we've seen it so many times in Hollywood as well, you know, Amy Winehouse, Whitney Houston, Anna Nicole Smith, you know, just to name a few. I mean, it, I, I really do feel like an, an addiction is a sickness. I have seen it firsthand. You could beg this person. You could, you could plead. You can go on the floor. You can literally drop on your knees and beg them to get help until they realize they need help. They will not get any help. And, you know, if they don't have anyone around them, like I don't believe Amy or Anna, Michael, Whitney had people around them to, to really like other than their family to really sit them down and say, hey, you're going to go get help and period, you know, force them in a way. I don't know. I mean, there's no way you can force, but you know what I mean? Um, so all these yes people in Hollywood, I just hope that um, Kara has, you know, her friends around her and um it, addiction is a very scary thing and i think that we are seeing more and more people um get help because now mental health is something that um is acceptable and that you can talk about and if kara is going through something i think it would help s tremendously if she spoke up about it whenever she was ready because I think that it would inspire a lot of people because you see her on the red carpet, you think, my God, she's perfect. Like there's nothing wrong with her. She, you know, though that's another care. Like I said in the beginning, that's parent trap. That's her, you know, twin sister. That's not her, right? But, you know, again, yes, people around you, uh, makeup artist, hairstylist, and, you know, uh, a change of mood can, can definitely hide what you are going through. So um, I do hope she gets help. If she needs it, of course, and I hope that one day she can speak out because I know so many people look up to her and, um, you know, even though I haven't followed her career from day one, obviously I hope for the best for her. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And girl, I will see you in my next video, bitch, because you know I upload every single day about five times a day. Okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.